Welcome to Westmount School. We can't have you in person, but we're going to head inside and give you a virtual tour. Over here, you're going to notice lots of vests and some stop signs. We have school patrollers doing the 817 highway for us, making sure our students are safe coming and going across that major intersection. And then if you just follow me here, here's our main office. And this is Mrs. Johnson over there, helping students if they get hurt, if they need things, taking phone calls from parents. Let's keep going. A pretty exciting upcoming event is Westmount's 50th birthday. So next year we're going to spend a lot of time celebrating Westmount being 50 years old. Another big thing here at Westmount School is our collaborative drama project. And you're gonna see lots and lots of pictures from years gone past. What we've done now is every single student in our building has a hand in this drama production, whether it's for advertising, costuming, props, backdrop. We wanna make sure everybody has a hand in that. So that's something we'll be working on again next year. Westy is our mascot. And we have our students go on tours with Westy. So this is our Adventures with Westy Bulletin Board. When we can travel again, our students will put a pin up here where they went and they do a little write-up that other people can read. Over here, every year we have a theme of welcoming our students back to school and meeting our staff. So this one was the Friends theme. Westmount will be there for you. If we were to continue down this hallway, we would hit uh, three grade six classrooms and a couple grade five classrooms. Down this way are our lockers for our grade five and six students. Here is one of our bulletin boards that celebrates the Blackfoot culture. We're very fortunate to have a great relationship with our Siksika neighbors in the community. And we also have a liaison that helps us build that partnership. And Orange Shirt Day was just one of those activities. Hello, ladies. How's it going? Good. We'll continue down here to what some may say that is the best place in the school is our gym. So let's see what they're doing in there. We'll keep going down this hallway. We'll take a peek into this classroom. This is our Strive classroom where we're able to give differentiated program to our students who need um, special accommodations, small group setting, lots of adult support. This is also one of the classrooms that they use and they have access to our sensory room. Let's go take a look at our sensory room. So this room is where students can come if they need a break, if they need to work on fine or gross motor skills, if they're feeling a little bit dysregulated. We've got a swing, this changes out. We've got several different swings. We've got our, our rebounding trampoline over here. If it wasn't COVID, we'd have a ball pit that we could be in. We've got lots of fine motor, gross motor activities, big balls, little balls. And in here, we have an area where they can just deal with little lights and do additional fine motor skills. Puzzles, our bubble tube. So students from throughout our school actually could be found in this room, of course, under su with supervision, but this gives us a lot, an opportunity to become regulated and ready to go back to learn. Let's head across the hall to the library. So this is our very well-stocked library. As you can see, it's been filled with thousands and thousands of books. We've got books that are leveled. We've got books that are fiction, non-fiction. Pretty much anything is in here. You're gonna see a giant connect for that is a piece of our maker space where students come in here and they build and design and create. And we do that on our Fridays. Not sure if you can see this table, but you can see that things have been written on it. We've got a lot of collaborative working spaces within our library. Our library is for reading, but it's all for, also for learning and talking and communicating.
our hallways are always filled with beautiful artwork and you can actually see some of that beautiful artwork right here. This is some of the stuff that some of our grade sixes have done in anticipation of spring. What can continue down here Heading into our grade five classrooms, let's just take a peek into 5B and see what they're up to. Hi, Mrs. Hi, Mrs. Kopp, we're just popping in. Hi, what are you guys working on right now? Um, plants and animals. Excellent, we'll enjoy, thank you. All right, we'll continue down this hallway towards our other grade four classroom as well as our grade three area. So our students have significant access to technology. So all of our Div 2 classes have their own Chromebook carts and our Div 1 classes share our Chromebook carts so that when they need access to technology for that really valuable learning, they have it when they need it. Here's a am pretty amazing bulletin board. It was Earth Day just the other day in our 3B class did a lot of, first of all, art around Earth Day, but as well as some tips and tricks about how to look after our Earth. Heading down here, we're gonna head into a kindergarten classroom, see what they're up to. That was great timing. That was Miss Big Snake. She is our First Nations liaison. She goes from class to class to teach us a little bit about the Blackfoot culture and helps us plan events that also help us to understand the Blackfoot culture as well. Let's head down to the grade two area. Again, you can see lots of beautiful artwork. This is our grade two artwork. This is our grade two area. We've got three grade two classrooms. We're gonna pop into this room over here. Let's go take a peek at the playground. So we're very fortunate to have a pretty amazing playground, so let's just pop outside the grade two doors and see what we can see. All right, so we're gonna head down towards our grade one area. And while we're down there, we're going to get a sneak peek at what music looks like at Westmount School. So again, lots of really great artwork lining our hallways. We're fortunate to have a really great partnership with School Linked, which is a before and after school care. So they exist right inside our school, super convenient for families. And I can hear the music, follow me. So this is 1A. So although we can't sing this year with COVID, Mrs. Rossi has created an amazing music program where they've explored rhythm and beat. And when they're in music, we always see happy kids. So that concludes our tour. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call at 403-934-3041 or better yet, 
follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We hope to see you soon.